Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. We're going to start with a song tonight. Well, I tried to say something and I didn't turn my mic on. I saw that. There's no light. And I hit it and I'm like, nope, it's not on. When it came in with a did did and you kind of rolled with it, I thought it was pretty sweet. He was going to say another edition of Riverbend Talent here Thursday night in the downtown Alton area. Uh, that is Dennis Laird. I am Pigpen, and we uh, come in here every Thursday and jack around for an hour, basically. So, uh, well, not every Thursday. No, and next Thursday I won't be here to jack around. I, I'm sad. I'm, That'll be nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a good reprieve for everybody else. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, it is Thursday in the Riverbend evening, which means we are here to tell you what is going on around town this weekend and around the whole Riverbend community and. We're going to introduce you to some uh, guys in a band called Euphoria. Uh, we interviewed them, what, a couple weeks back, I think? Euphoria. Euphoria. Uh, mm-hmm. It's been a couple Seems weeks Seems like that's been my whole life. <laughs> I've been searching for it my whole life. Uh, uh, you don't have to search, man. There's magic out there that makes it happen. Uh, you, you ever so like remember the show beverly hills 90210 no i did not watch it i didn't say you watch it i said do you remember no. it? i didn't say did you watch it so some things you need to just leave behind in the past okay but 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 that, that seriously that loop was of rich so high hollywood kids that, i mean why do i want to hang out with those guys? i didn't say you did i just i know to. how you needed to make a connection and make it big but i never i i'm a behind the scenes guy man <laughs> make it big yeah <laughs> I've so, got I mean, you probably, you know, you was their dealer or something, I'm sure. I, that's what I was going to tell them. Okay. I, sold, I sold them Euphoria, <laughs> all of them. Look, some of those child stars weren't Please, that bad. let's move on from this subject matter of uh, whatever that thing was you brought up. Dana Plato? Let's talk I about the Sea <laughs> Shanty sing-along at Morrison's Now Those guys are cool. You want to talk about celebrity. The Sea Shanty guys are, you want know. Want to buy some Euphoria? How many years now we've been mentioning sea shanties to kick off the show? <laughs> uh, about six years, I think. I don't know. I think it's so seven. I'm yeah. feeling really goofy about it all. All right, yeah, seven years. I, hey, the lucky lucky number seven? I don't know if that's right. right. Anyway, the sea shanty sing-along is going down at Morrison's Irish Pub this evening. That's just over the hill from us there in the downtown area. Yeah. The uh, Cross the Line at uh, Fast Eddie's. Yep. Darius down. Spangler at uh the conservatory tonight at eight all right there you go open mic uh at the raging cajun every thursday night nine o'clock with jamie Dunn. unless there's like 18 inches of snow or something right some <laughs> massive outbreak of a thing or uh, <laughs> possibly a, a uh, tornado or hurricane a flat tire i think hurricanes are Drinks. now talking about going up rivers so really we can, we can plan for that in the future i'm sure they'll they'll be here right after the dolphins swim right after It'll the dolphins awesome. and just It'll, before the sharks it, perfect right, so. perfect i'll know when to look for them the uh, sharkinators uh, so. <laughs> okay well we also got uh, an acoustic open mic night with ever heart and light going on at baker's and hail starting at 5 p.m this evening so that's already been going on for an hour if you're, yeah if you're uh, i do, do want to mention that's been canceled the last few weeks right after we come on really so, so it's usually wow. for cold weather. So I'm thinking it might be on tonight. Uh, it's it's uh, a little warmer. So tonight. I just want to, you know, preference that. All but, you right, know, there there's, you go. there's just stop by anyways. What yeah. The heck? You, know, there you, go. You, can, you can move down the line. There's I was going to say, if there's days. nothing going on there, there's plenty going on right. right downtown. Just come on down. Well, right up to Jerseyville. Nick Sturgis at uh, George's Local Brew, 7 to 10. I mean, you're in Godfrey. It's not That's so much right up the road, yeah. yep. But we did forget to mention down in Wood River, a karaoke with DJ Tony at 8 o'clock. That's at Martin's Tunes and or Eats. I didn't forget it. I just skipped just, it. Yeah, you skipped no it. No one's seen that, though. But I, I, I just did. busted myself. I it? saw it, and I was going to call you and I. <laughs> what else you we should. Got? You should. I mean, I could handle being, you know, I need some of the wrestlers in tonight. I could use uh, a little wrestling action, big chair across the back yeah yeah, yeah that, that's something like to you shake up. you up yeah something, yeah. something to make you feel alive flowing. yeah yeah 
Lane and Julie, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville tonight. Dave Mendoza, 7 o'clock at Deutsch Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. You know, that's a bit about getting hit across the back with a chair, and I can't remember where I stole that from, and I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, yeah, never mind. Ashley and Ethan, <laughs> 6 to 9. You know, it matters to me, you know, to give people props, you know. Oh, sure, Like man. Ashley and Ethan, they're playing at uh, Prairie Inn and Dorsey from 6 to 9. Right, and then the Rollins brothers going to be at the Copper Fire in Belleville, six to nine p.m. tonight. Legendary. They're getting started right about now. So they have the legendary Rollins brothers from Beowulf and uh, and the Arbery legendary uh, and and the legendary clubs Granny's Rock are both Bobby. in Alton and Edwardsville. And those guys were definitely cool about letting bands open up for them. Yeah, back yeah. In the day, even they, Mazda Christ. Uh, <laughs> Yes, they did. And, you know, nobody <laughs> wanted them. <laughs> that was the, uh, you want everyone out of here? Pip, get, get them up on stage. Right. Uh, so there you go. That is your Friday evening. No, that's your Thursday evening. That's your Thursday evening. You said that because so. you want to go right into Friday because we have a guest coming up. Right? We do. We've got euphoria. Why are they on again? I think we're going to talk about that when we get to Saturday. To, to spread euphoria through, through the well, community. Well, I'll tell you why they're really on again. Because right. of Matt Van Bors of the <laughs> CS Insurance. Yes, sir. And uh, that was a plug, but yeah. you see how I slid it in there? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, that's how you're supposed to do radio. I heard once. Is it? I've never tried it. I'm but. not good at radio because now all I can think is sliding it into Matt Van Bors. Anyway, he's a handsome yeah, you slide man. It right Did I say into that? It. And you can slick right down. You know, March 22nd, that's 322, right? All right. 322. 322. Does that number ring a bell? 322. That's the official number of Skull and Bones. Ah. Yeah. Right? I, I'm not a member We're, of the club, so I'm yeah, not well. sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know Do the we got to go to George Carlin at this point? I don't even know the Mason handshake. A lot of us are not in it. He brought that up. <laughs> right? Most of us are not in it. <laughs> but more importantly, uh, 322 marks yes. the beginning of Kids Rock and Ooh. Alpen Music. Now we're getting down to a real, you. the real crux of the 322. All right. This is the crux of the biscuit. So it's easy to remember now, especially if you went to Yale and are a <laughs> member of Skull and Bones. And uh, it's 150 bucks for eight weeks. Do the Skull and Bones dance. Do and the, the kids get to, uh, the kid, what, I forget the age group. You'll have to look oh, it up real, on the yeah, uh, it's, it's Music uh, Facebook page or website, alpamusic.com. Like five or something. I mean, it's yeah, crazy young. young. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so they get introduced to instruments. What is it? Drums, guitar, bass, keyboard. I keyboard. Think too. Yeah. yeah. And they get to try them all, and a eventually uh, they'll probably. I guess they narrow it down to who's best on which one, or well, maybe they, they just flip a coin. Maybe they rotate. I'm not sure how they go about it, but at, by the end mm. of the uh, by the end of the session, this, they this have the formed bands. Big news here, because then there's a concert. Yes, they form bands and they throw a concert at that young age. And so, I, how they choose who plays what instruments or whatever at the concert, I'm not sure. Uh, but it sounds we need a like hand a, heck with of a lot of fun. We need a hand to find that out. <laughs> a John, John Hand, yeah, John Hand would be perfect. He works there. Right? Uh, yeah. Yes, he does. All right. Uh, I, and I, it's so does Joe Whiteside from the Fireside oh. Band and, and, and Lynn from uh, 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 Flip the Frog. Yeah. And uh, by, just, I see a lot of great people down there when mm. I, I stop in there. Uh, my, my daughter's taking flute lessons there. So Super. Every Monday. I'm Did you rent her off. your flute from Houghton? Because they do rent instruments. They rent? So that if, you know, Lydia decides, you know, I'm not a flutist. Right. I am a harpist. A I am harpist. A, that would be awesome. Yeah. A saxophone offenist would be cool too. Any of that. Mm, well, you know. Here, here, here's what I want to say that I know about, or, or what I what I learned about this years ago, and I think it stands true is that if you're renting to you're renting your uh, instrument for your kid mm -hmm. to play with the school band all year, and at the end of that year they go, man, yeah. I really like this. You can take all of those rentals and put them towards the purchase. Look at that. Of of that. Uh, so so if you're thinking, man, I don't know if I want to rent or buy, go ahead and rent. Because all of that money, I believe, can be put towards the purchase at the end of the year if you choose to keep the instrument. So. And for those non-musical families who are going, hmm, I wonder if this would be good for my kids. Yes. This may ring your bell. Math is good for your kids. So... <laughs> 
they will learn math. It is all everything's math, but I, yes, yeah. for sure, music is is math, right. and it's uh, it's also communication. cooperation. It, absolutely, yeah. You you must Which play well with others. We're bad at. <laughs> we do not cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> because then there's punk rock guys <laughs> you know and uh, gotta have the attitude for punk rock to work all right so anyway if you have kids and you've seen them guys claiming to be punk rockers and you're like there's just not an attitude with this version of what they're calling punk rock i'm not going to name any names but they have been signed <laughs> <laughs> so hey they got that going for them Pianos on Friday night. Yes, they do that at the piano bar in Alton. The Région Cajon. I don't know why they, how'd they come up with that idea? I'm to put pianos in a piano bar? It's fabulous. Thinking out of the box right there. Thinking out of the box. We have names this week. All right. So we got Darby Leaf, Travis Byers, and what is that, Damon? Kelly Damon? I would say it has to be Kelly Kelly, Damon. You are a name-dropping fool right there. Those are some... Some serious names. I'm going to trip over all the names you're dropping. Double N. There you oh, go. Damn it. Damn it, Kelly. So there you go. That's all happening at the Raging Cajon. At least uh, three uh, piano players to brag about there. Who knows what will happen. That is on Friday. That is Friday. Also on Friday, all mixed up is going on down at the Bone Air. Look at that. The return of the Riverbend Classic Band, 7 o'clock at Baker's in Hale. And All right. And then we got Musical Bingo with yeah. over $400 in prizes. And the grand prize is a 43-inch flat screen television that's going on at clifton terrace in in godfrey that's right at the top of the hill there and i'm not exactly sure how you do that but it sounds interesting way better than just putting pegs on a number right musical if it's musical it's got to have bingo. something to do with you know maybe some trivia with music or something i guess i am not sure but call us 465-1570 if you know how to play musical <laughs> bingo because we have no clue but it sounded interesting so i put it down it, it it does. It, I mean, not quite in a cool place. It's not quite gay meat bingo or anything, but right. musical bingo. All right, there you go. So, what else we got going on? We got sit down, get down. That's happening at Martin's Tunes and Eats on Friday night. Mo pleasure. Seven o'clock at the Moose and Wood River. Then the band Sabbath, not Ooh. the one that you're probably thinking of, but a tribute to the yeah. band you're thinking of because it's the complete Black Sabbath experience. That means. They probably do an Ian Gillen song. Maybe a Tony Martin song. Oh, we're going to see I some don't know. Ronnie James Dio? Well, you know they're doing that. Uh, if you're going to say the com- complete, then you know Dio and Ozzy's a Berkshire. Yeah. But yeah. if Tony Martin, I mean, mm, there you go. the Headless Cross, if they break <laughs> that out, uh, I'd be a little surprised. But more, in, you know, I would, that Ian Gillen album, some people don't like that, but I like Born Again. Yeah, yeah, and so did Cannibal Corpse. They covered one of those songs, <laughs> "Zero the Hero." Remember that? Yeah, I mm. do. I yeah. do. That's... When you were a metalhead, I was. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> I, I have a few memories from those days left. Well, uh, Dave Horton plays a coo- uh, acoustic country, right? All right, and he'll be doing that Friday from six to nine at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. All right, Mike Allers, Ailers, A H L E R, Hollers. I don't know. Could be all of those, <laughs> right? Right. Five to eight, the Stagger Inn in Edwardsville, and that's a good place to be no matter who's playing, usually. That is a good room. They have a, a nice listening room there where people really kind of there to hear the music. And Larry and Bobby back at it again on Friday at 7 o'clock at the Moose in Edwardsville and Rollins right, yeah. Brothers. There you go. And then we got Rock or Box at Patrick's down in Granite City. That doesn't play well on radio. Rocker box, yeah, because it's all like spaced out. And it's got rock <laughs> dash er it's very dash visual Ra- rocker box, right? So they are some rockers. There has to be an inside. Uh, yeah, there you am. <laughs> I'm gonna rocker box anyway. It's the they are playing down at yeah. Patrick's in Granite City, and Dee Snyder would rock because he really wants to. I don't want a rocker yeah. box. No, I don't know. And then probably, uh, you know, The Who, right? Squeeze box. Yeah. That okay. would probably be a little closer to what they're... The, the original version, that was like eight and a half minutes long, and I played it on many jukeboxes to get my money's worth. 
lay a dollar down, I want at least eight minutes of music, man. Some bands name themselves <clears> after <throat> songs. Like the Midnight Special. Right. From 8.30 to 12.30 at Deutsch Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. John Evans at Georgia's Local Brew on Friday, 7 to 10 in Jersey. And the open mic at the Hog Pit with Steve Mellis, 7 o'clock on Friday nights. Uh, Pops is doing some local showcases, so that's pretty cool. All right. And our buddies who used to work at Shop and Save have been on the show, right? (laughs) Yeah. Shop and Save number 1781. That's why they're called 1781. Right. That was the old Shop and Save. Back in the days when Shop and Save was out on the Belt Line. What's that? I don't know. It's Home Radams Parkway we're talking, right? Yeah. So they're doing the Pops <laughs> Local Showcase with uh, Brave New World, Degenerate, uh, and Atlas on fire. And the my. doors open at 6, so I'm assuming about 7 o'clock start there in Saugat. In Saugat. And then we got Lazy Lester, 7 to 10 p.m. on Friday evening. That's at the Time Out Sports Bar in Troy. Yeah. Skylark Brothers going to be doing it at the uh, uh, at 7 p.m. at the Chateau La Vin in Columbia. And then finally, Mike Judy presents Sleigh Bells, 8 p.m. at the Red Flag in St. Louis. Mm-hmm. So there you go. That takes us to Saturday with Shotgun Creek at Third Shoot in Alton, 9 p.m. Shotgun Creek. <laughs> you know, Tommy Fleming is uh, Fleming at the Lips. <laughs> Let me hit the list. We got we got Anthony Nanny and Company, uh, two to six p.m. and then all mixed up seven thirty to eleven thirty at the Bone Air. Mm-hmm. That's on Saturday night. Same pianos at the same piano bar. Same piano <laughs> time Saturday. Yep, there you Nine go. p.m. Same people: Darby Leaf, Travis uh, Byers, and Kelly Damon. And then we've got Tripwire. Uh, it's a birthday party going yeah. on out at the Beer and Barrel Pub in Godfrey. Mm, they're coming up on uh, River Bend Talent in the near future. And so that's Damon, their their uh, drummer. It's, mm-hmm. it's his birthday party going on out there. And we we just interviewed him, but uh, we didn't play it in time to, for that. But we we will get to them in a few weeks, man. Yeah, yeah. So up and uh, coming. Yep. Yeah. And then my buddy Pat Liston, seven to eleven at Baker's and Hale and Godfrey on Saturday. Yeah, I've seen him since you haven't. <laughs> so can i call him my buddy now sure man all right i'll do that sure hey i'm cool i know pat listed <laughs> <laughs> he's a righteous brother you know uh, who's even cooler to know danny listen flip the frog oh. <laughs> <laughs> i was going for the brother <laughs> i was thinking of uh uh, the lens. Andy Bensman, as soon as you said that. Uh, I should have said, <laughs> Andy Bensman, nice. Heck yeah, Andy yeah, Bensman. Which is an inside uh, joke, and you'll have to go back and watch previous episodes of uh, Riverbend Talent if you want in on our inside jokes. If you find any we're cool the, with it. If you find any of the shows with Jeff Bensman on it, chances are we're going to be talking about Andy, his brother. Right, so there yeah. you go. And if you're any fan of local music, you know exactly who we're talking there to. You go. Thank you for tuning in to our show because, you know, that's probably maybe where you know them or maybe you just like music and that's even cooler. Right. Because that's why we're here. But, but your answer was actually Flip the Frog. Is, is yeah, yeah, yeah. I was flip, getting back and, to and that, Flip the Frog Which, is going to be at Roper's Regal Beagle 7 p.m. on Saturday. Another member of the Halpin Music team. Yeah, absolutely. And Lynn. Flip the Frog, right? Yeah, there yeah. you go. He's a, he's a instructor there. Why do we say Halpin Music Company? Because they sponsor this show that allows us to tell you where everything's happening this weekend as far as live music and performance arts and stuff like that. Even and, musical bingo. And introduce you to... The bands that we talk about, like Euphoria, who's coming up here momentarily. But first, we're going to get through these uh, Saturday gigs, like Revolvers at the Refinery Bar in Wood River at 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. And then we got DJ at AutoCAD, mm. 10 p.m. at the Franchise in Wood River. I'd like to learn more about that style of DJ. Yeah, the AutoCAD. I believe that's a program. I don't well, know if he's he, just named himself after it or if he's using it, probably. I imagine. So, you know. And that's what I'm getting at. Back in our day, when we said DJ, it was a guy that pushed play. Right? <laughs> Did some stuff in between. And I don't think that's what these kind of DJs do. They got... Wiki, wiki, scratch, yeah, scratch. that. And they're doing uh, some uh, kind of like, you know, smash party games. Right. Or uh, something. Could I be. Know. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, a low pass filter. Right. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that's what they're doing to anyway we got trixie delight 9 p.m at the pump house in wood river on saturday tanglefoot 8 
to midnight at Uncle Al's in Jerseyville and Terry back 3-7 to seven to Grafton Winery on Saturday afternoon. The Skylark Brothers at the Corner Tavern right there by the Wally Theater. You yeah. can come into town at 7 o'clock and then you'll go ahead and uh, head to the Wally Theater, right? Because it's right there. Sure. And what would that partake us in on a Saturday night? It would be the STL Rhythm Collaborative and the Wild E Theater presenting In Due Time, a live music and tap dance tribute to the Dave Brubeck mm. Quartet featuring Most Lee, S-T-L-E, tap and Most Lee Jazz, <laughs> 2.30 and 7 o'clock. Mo STL tap and Mo STL jazz, mostly. Yes. Yeah, and Edwardsville with Wild, the Wild E, and then the back uh-huh. bars right there. You got Big Daddy's cool. right there next to it. The Foundry right next to Big Daddy's, where Dave Horton will be at 2 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. And then uh, right around the corner, Mike Keller at the Stagger Inn again from mm-hmm. 5 to 8. There you go. And you head on down the road to Glen Carbon at the cabin at Judy Creek. You can see Mike Sonderegger. And then, they're sorry, letting it all so, hang down. Sorry, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> they are letting it all oh, hang wait down. Wait a minute. I put that in the wrong spot. That's supposed to be on Deutz. Ah, yeah, yeah. I was going to call it. I was going to say Patrick's. So you got After Midnight mm-hmm. is at Deutz Village right, Inn, yeah. and that's going to be a party. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm messing up. That is Patrick. See, I'm thinking See? that's that's another song. See how it's confused me? There it is. So let's bring that so, up. So, so there it is. So, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to correct all this. After yeah. Midnight is going to be in Granite City at Patrick's at 9 p.m. on let Saturday. It all hang down. They will let it all hang down. The right. other song he's referring yeah. to is the Midnight Special. That band is yeah. named after a song. will be at Deutz Village Inn. Now let me ask you, do you that know? That was awesome, man. Thanks the, for covering my... Now, let me ask you a question about the Midnight Special. Do you know the Alton connection to the Midnight Special? The original. The shine a light on me person? It, 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 well, the, the, the Midnight... must have been a light guy. The Midnight I Special that is shining the light is the a train, train yeah. that ran from St. Louis to Chicago, and it was ran by the Alton Rail Company. I knew that. So there you go. Alton Connection, man. Money Shot, they are not connected to Alton, are they? Maybe. Anyway, they're going to be at 5 p.m. at uh, the Elks in Panna, Illinois on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, and since we got all wrapped up in all those uh, bands that have song names, we skipped right over. Oh. Flipside, 8 o'clock at Patty McDee's in Granite City. And right on. Lanny and Julie, 7 o'clock at the Elks in Granite City. And you lot mentioned going the on in Elks Granite City. in Panna. Money Shot just got their entire trailer ripped off. <sighs> Not the actual outside part of the trailer. Broke that, into and everything into, inside. Yeah, yeah. Which was their entire yeah. PA mm. and uh, many, many more. We won't get into it. Yeah, so which go, brings go, go us support to, them. That brings us to our guest tonight and their show this weekend. All right. Because we don't want to linger on ugly news, right? No. Road to Point Best 2022, Session 1, Finals. With finals. Finals. A Living Hell, Euphoria. That's our guest coming up in moments. Fireside. Previous guest. Right. And Miss Helping Music Company. See, it's always a, easy to slide in our sponsor. When we there you go. See Fireside with Joe, right? Also, we got Misplaced Religion on that bill and previous guest, The Intrusion. Right. And that ought to be a good one. Uh, we talked to Euphoria, and uh, I don't think we talked about it on the show, but do you remember when I asked them how many tickets they sold? the last time what the number was it was it was fabulous it was outstanding a couple I, hundred I, I, I was more than what i would have guessed <laughs> yeah I, I just yeah. outstanding more than we so. could afford to buy our own tickets and give it away back ex- in the ex- day. exactly <laughs> which you know, you know that was the the trick but anyway so everybody get out you know if you're if you're uh wanting to support that where you're gonna head to oh that's going on at uh where is it at pops, pops? yeah there you go it's going on at pops and that mm-hmm. is six dollars in advance or eight dollars uh the day of the show and a really cool thing they do and we forgot to mention this in the interview coming up with euphoria and i talked to them before about doing it and i just slipped but uh which i'm doing a lot today anyways uh when you go to purchase tickets there's a link right on cottonmouth.org you can do it that way or you can just look it up uh there'll be a promo code box and you just type in which band you want to buy the tickets from which is important because then they get credit for that and that helps them towards victory yeah, it's 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 more about selling tickets than. Well, than, you know, <laughs> we, we like to imply that, right? Let's well, just it, say it definitely doesn't help 
or it doesn't hurt, no, right? Yeah, right. But right. I don't know what would happen if a really bad band sold, sold the most tickets, tickets. <laughs> and yeah. just yeah. went out there and and made that would be made the butthole surfers sound like an orchestra of <sighs> uh, you know Mozart or something. They are. <laughs> well, I think so, but. <laughs> Okay. You, you get okay. my point. You get yeah, my. Yeah. You know it's my favorite. Huge. Matter of fact, matter of fact, you know where you found out about the butthole servers from. So, oh yeah. yeah, Butch McMaster. The back of a, <laughs> the back of a comet, dude. You were in a comet. Uh, yeah. Remember that car? I, I do. <laughs> listening to uh, the, the I locust give that, abortion technician. I give that car away to a guy who, who uh, had just got a job and didn't have wheels to get to work. Ah, so I go. gave it to him, and the reason I gave it, I actually sold it to him for three hundred dollars. But the very next week, he wrecked it. Oh, that was such a good car. And told it, it. so I said, "Yeah, don't worry about it." Yeah, All right. Let it. All right. So anyway, we got to roll through our Sunday so we can get to this interview with Euphoria. It's and, not that uh, long. You it's go not. Ahead and run through All it right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll sure let you know that on go. Sunday you can go to Fast Eddie's Bone Air, and from one to five you can catch Anthony Nanny and Company. Um, or actually, it says, some, I don't know who's 1 to 5. Anthony Nanny and Company is yeah. 6 to 10. Yeah. Uh, maybe someone's 1 to 5. Then we've got an open mic with the Shell Shack Band, 3 to 7 at Martin's Tunes and Eats in Wood River on Sunday. Open mic with Butch Moore. That's been going on uh, 30 years or something at the Stagger in every Sunday, 6 to 10 p.m. If you want to be a part of that, I would suggest you get there and get your name on the list yep. because that usually fills up pretty quick. Uh, then we've got the uh, Vintage Brotherhood. 2 to 6 p.m. and then karaoke 7 to midnight at Deutz Village Inn and Pontoon Beach and finally Dave Horton 2 p.m. at Hoodats in Collinsville on Sunday. All right, that's it. So there you go. So now we're going to get to our interview with the band Euphoria. I uh, taped it a couple weeks ago, but uh, this is how we will introduce them to you. All right. Riverbend Talent on the Big Z brought to you by Matt Van Voorhis of Macias Insurance and Halpin Music Company. I told you, when you see the closed captions on our videos, it says Riverbend Talon. Talon. Yeah. Now, so I'm you, working on that T. Are you sure <laughs> that there's just not enough characters that the T doesn't make it on the screen? <laughs> Actually, I'm so into it now, I'm trying to come up with words that will be, you know, I can kind of make up a word and see what it does to the word <laughs> <laughs> so that i can make it really outrageous you thing. saw a bird for the people who can't hear it there you go right? it, it is kind of fun to watch <laughs> that's good what's it gonna do there it's you know gonna... how i like to slow way down too so for the people that are on 1.75 Oh, man, I, I always thought that was when just they my play brain it hearing it no, that way. You no. do that on purpose? Yeah. You're really messy. It comes out clear when they speed it up. Everybody <laughs> listens to YouTube talk videos on high speed, man. Really? Get through it a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, so everyone should like start writing. This should, should we all start <laughs> writing songs that are like. You should. Oh, I don't. It down no, so I don't think they do. The no, music they let go. That's that's fine. Oh, okay. It's who all wants right. to listen to the guy, you know. Well, speaking of music. Plug Twitter for 10 minutes. Speaking of music, we're here to talk to some musicians. Oh, yeah. And you, you brought up Matt Van Voris yeah. uh, from Macias Insurance and Halpin Music. We have to thank them for sponsoring us and allowing us to come in here because no. Nobody else would allow us to come in here and do this. Euphoria is on our mind. I have always got yeah, euphoria too. on too, my yeah, mind. Uh, and, and yeah, it's it's right next to Nirvana. Wow. I, I, anyway, uh, that is the name of the band we have. Now, we don't know these, these young gentlemen, so we are going to meet them along with you, our listenership. Uh, they are from, where are you from? I don't even know. See, we told you we didn't know them. They're from St. Louis. We usually don't let your kind in here. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Specifically, uh, no. Pattonville High School graduates. Uh, now, right, we got to bring that up. We're going we're gonna to talk about the fact that they're from Pattonville, uh, Missouri. Missouri. Oh, that's a I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm a good old boy from it's Illinois. Awesome. It don't matter. Uh, no, but we're going to talk a little bit about that, uh, your, your upbringing in Pattonville. And uh, first, I want to go through and introduce the members of the band. Wow, that'd be professional. 
It's 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 <laughs> it's almost a professional atmosphere yeah, in here. I'm feeling it, man. Like, you know, I mean, if, if right next to me is Coda, who is the guitar player, and if he would keep his hands to himself under the counter, this would be completely, <laughs> completely professional. No, I wasn't saying stop. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, I'm professional the way you're doing it. A professional does way better. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but I don't want to pay for it. So anyway, uh, I'm sorry. We've got Coda, guitar player. How you doing, Mr. Coda? I'm good. How you doing? Oh, oh! That, <laughs> I don't even have headphones on, and that blew my ears off. He, he got way into the microphone. Yeah, ah, so there you go. That's all right. You're doing great, man. You know, I, I can tell right off the bat you're the eye candy of the band. So just you know, sit there and look for you. You'll be fine. That's what we tell him on, uh, on Wednesday. Anyway. That's what uh -huh. he, yeah. That's so he tells himself that every morning in the mirror before he leaves the house. Exactly. I am the eye candy of the band. I can do no wrong. No, I don't know. I've done poor code. I've just met the guy five minutes ago. I'm sure you're a fine person. We'll find out as the interview goes on. Right. Uh, next, next to Coda, we've got Kendrick. Uh, Kendrick, uh, vocalist and guitarist. Yes, sir. Uh, also a songwriter. I'm just going to guess. It's yeah. It's a joint effort. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I love joint efforts. Yeah. We, we should have put some effort into a joint before we started this. <laughs> way more mellow. Uh, anyway, uh, we left you out. When you left, we did that. I, so. I, I, I was uh, doing horrible things. I don't know. <laughs> things I can't admit uh, on the radio. Here we go. Uh, Mr. Kendrick, uh, guitarist, vocalist, and, and part of the songwriting team yeah. of Euphoria. Uh, I, I skipped you on the songwriting. So I'm just assuming you can't put more than two syllables together, Coda. It's all good. So, yeah, yeah. I asked him to name two pronouns. He said, who, me? I, I, I'm just not sure about this guy. <laughs> anyway, next to Kendrick, we have Simon. Uh, Mr. Simon, you are the bassist and backing vocalist of the band. That is absolutely correct. Uh, you like to throw out some harmonies, or are you yeah. just kind of growling behind him? Uh, depends on what I need to do, but right. normally just some harmonies. Yeah. Whatever the, the emotion the song yeah, exactly. uh, needs. Perfect. You, you sound like an all right person so far, once again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, uh, and then, uh, and you know, and actually, it was it was Simon's dad, uh, Justin, Jason, Jason, Jason. I'm sorry, Jason uh, is the one who reached out to me and uh, asked me to uh, get you guys on there because we have never heard of you guys. I'm going to be honest. Most people haven't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we, we do a huge list of gigs that are pages long every week, but because you're, uh, we, it's on this side of the river we concentrate. Right. So you start getting some gigs on this side of the river, and we'll start talking about you for right. more. All right. Uh, anyway. We highly uh, recommend the Conservatory for all original music. Yes, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. And, and this is what I would suggest to you for real. If you when you leave here this evening, you head one block that way and about six blocks that way. You're going to find the conservatory. Walk in there and talk to them because yep. Justin Level's not famous for answering the phone. <laughs> <laughs> they, they run a, they run a great original club and they will uh, give everybody a chance. But yeah, you, you might want to stop in on your way out of town yeah, this yeah. evening okay, and, cool, and say sure. hello and have a drink. So there you go. Uh, finally, uh, we have Sam. The percussionist of the uh, group. That's me, tambourine. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah. Like, cowbell. He's the Davy Jones of the group. Uh, if you guys know the monkeys, I know that they're like monkeys. Yeah, we saw them at the zoo, man. <laughs> <laughs> Studying music at SIUE. Studying music yeah. at SIUE. Yeah. Uh, playing with the jazz band out there. Yep. And jazz is where it's at. It's all up the five, man. It's mm. the money shot. The five yeah. and the seven. Oh, yeah. Those are your numbers, man. I love it. Toys and stuff. No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I do like, uh, I, I am a fan of, of some jazz uh, coming from the home of Miles Davis. Mm, Hard to not be yeah. uh, partial to the bitch's brew. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, Herbie Hancock, you know. He, got, fired. Uh, he <laughs> got fired. He got fired from Miles Davis. <laughs> he's in there. <laughs> That's all right. He was also the first one to scratch a record on MTV. It yeah. worked good for him. It, he needed to get fired. That's why Miles did it. Uh, Herbie Hancock himself said getting fired from Miles Davis was the best thing for his career because yep. he would have always just been Miles back up, and he finally got to yep. uh, put his own thing out there. So, but man, hardy tough to get fired from someone like Miles, I would think. I mean, <laughs> yeah. probably not tough. It's probably really I'd be fired the first five seconds. Like, you don't even know what you're doing, do you? I'm like, nope, just snuck in, man. Uh, but uh, anyway, so there you go. You're uh, studying uh, at SIU, playing in the jazz band, but now we're gonna go back in time a little bit to where you uh, you started in Pattonville High School. You also played in the jazz band yep. there, correct? Yep, along with Simon and Kendrick here. 
Simon and Kendrick both uh, playing, uh, all three of you playing in the jazz band at Pattonville. Now, Coda, what, what, what's, what's the deal? I went to a different school, but I also was playing in jazz band. Oh, okay. They, they told his mom, now here's where the normal IQ is. Your boy's just <laughs> under that. He's going to have to go to a special school. <laughs> so what school did you go to? I went to Hazelwood West. Oh, okay. <sighs> I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, am, I am so sorry. Now, I'm sure that's a fine school, too. Did you did you yeah. play in any school band there? Yeah, I played in the jazz band. He just in said the that. So yeah. you, were also, <laughs> you were also in the jazz band, yep. see? So I, I am suddenly more... Yeah, you were thinking about a different J word that's close to jazz. <laughs> but, uh, I'll so, take... So, so, so before he goes off the rail, and we're on this subject here, so you three guys play rail? the same instruments, drums, bass, and, and, and guitar in the yeah. jazz band? Yeah. 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 And you and also you play, play guitar, guitar in the jazz band at Hazelwood. Correct. Yeah. So I would imagine Euphoria is a fairly jazzy band. You'd be mistaken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mistaken. Not exactly. Nice. Yeah, we all did meet in the jazz, uh, jazz band, but we... Jazz chords don't work well with distortion, man. <laughs> we like to mix them in every once in a while. That's a good point. <laughs> right? They don't ring out right with distortion, <laughs> and they don't feel jazzy anymore. But yeah, yeah. So that, so uh, before before we move forward from Pattonville High School, right? We want to talk a little bit about Denny McFarland. <laughs> 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 he, he is he is the jazz teacher there. So 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 let's just we're gonna we're gonna. Go slowly into this. Uh, he, he, <laughs> you, you first met him as your jazz teacher, and and, and when you first, uh, I'm 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 speaking to uh, Kendrick, Simon, and, and Sammy. When you when you first met him, you think this is a, a good guy, lots of knowledge to get, right? right. So is that what you're absolutely. thinking? Yeah, yeah. I'd lo- I like to preface it with he is a very good teacher. Yes. It's just that. No, 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 not yet. Okay. We're not We're not to the butt yet. Okay. We're, we're just talking about how great he is first because we yeah. don't want to get sued later. He had, <laughs> he had a lot of good hey. lessons. Well, Sam's opinion is he's, is uh, he's, he's, he's got, yeah, 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 he's cool I with it. Yeah, yeah, okay, he's, no, he's okay. a big fan. Sam is a big fan <laughs> right. of nice. Denny McFarland, the jazz teacher from Pattonville High School. Now, Kendrick and Simon, who were also in that jazz uh, uh, class, not quite as big of fans, but let's find out why it is that Sam doesn't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe Kendrick and Simon do. So, so, so as you get to know the guy, great teacher? Yeah, great teacher. He had a lot of good things to say. He's very knowledgeable. He's very skilled, you know, jazz musician. But uh, his son, Thomas McFarland was the uh, the first drummer right. of this band, the first iteration of the so band. So before Sam was in the band. Yeah. Four yeah. drummers ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, four been drummers. through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so, so, dude, I hate to tell you, happens. but you were very expandable. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is the plan on sticking around. This point. <laughs> right? There was nothing left but a little globular. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, Sam's going to get hit by a bus tomorrow, and we're just trying to figure out how to tell uh, him. Yeah, yeah. And as all musicians know, that Spinal Tap joke is directed at most <laughs> bands because the drummer's the dude that usually scoots. He it's gets always, a better yeah, offer. Yeah. There's yeah. always a Keith Moon, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's right. like the few too many Mandrakes in yeah, there. Yeah. Anyway. Hard to yeah. find drummers. Yeah, hard uh, to find drummers. It is hard to find drummers. So the original drummer of your band was who? Uh, Thomas McFarlane. Thomas McFarlane. He is the son of Denny McFarlane, the jazz teacher. So... Uh, was he trying to push the band into a more jazzy uh, thing? Just didn't work out with him, I guess. Well, I, I think... We can I, say it didn't work out. A lot of the fault, I think, falls on me because I was not so much a good jazz student. Mm. I just kind of wanted to play my rock right. rock and roll guitar, and that did not fit in the jazz I setting. See. So he yeah. already kind of had a little buffer with me. But mm-hmm. then whenever it came to... Uh, kick Thomas out of the band uh, I had already graduated by then and Simon uh, was still in school Ooh. so when we kicked him out and we went back to school Simon got a talking to <laughs> <laughs> that he had made the wrong choice and okay. had chosen the wrong side nah, uh, all right you you chose the side of rock yeah that yeah. is never the wrong yeah. side <laughs> but there absolutely the saying sex drugs and rock and roll goes back to the very beginning of time it was etched into the cave of the very first <laughs> when they uh, figured out how to roll a rock yeah. Yeah. exactly yeah. and and it, it nobody's ever turned back from it that i know <laughs> there's a reason it has stood the test of time absolutely. It, it's not 
jazz drugs mm. and <laughs> sex or whatever. <laughs> I, I guess I got those out of order. <laughs> sex, sex, drugs, and jazz. That's, that's it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so there you go. You chose you chose the rock and roll lifestyle, and yeah, and, uh, and you kicked out the the jazz teacher's son. Yeah. So I, I bet I bet that last year of oh, jazz uh, school was tough for you. Yeah. Yeah. There were some words said that. Uh, I may regret, he may regret, who knows, but uh, it did not go well from that point on, and there was some tension. Yeah. So, so now Sam, on the other hand, <laughs> you got no problem because you weren't in the band that threw his son out. Uh, yeah, I had graduated and gone on to college. I had no idea about all this, but yeah, I very much appreciate everything that uh, <laughs> old Mr. McFarland did. Right, yeah. For the record, Pat and Bill known for their jazz bands all over the state, right? You guys go to state competitions and did well, right? Yeah. 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 Won a couple awards. Got to play, I think it was like the national teacher appreciation thing. We got to drive up to Jefferson City and play for all the teachers who were honored that year throughout the nation. So Yeah, we did pretty well, despite having a rock guitar player. In the jazz band. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> he had a rock basis, too. He just knew how to play in upright. So, uh, so there you All go, right, man. Yeah, so uh, some great experience gained from uh, doing that, and it ends absolutely. up putting together Euphoria. Yeah. So yeah. How's, uh, how's Coda come into the picture, then? Coda is actually my cousin. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So he moved out here a few years ago, and uh, I had my guitar in my room, and we just learned how to play it together pretty much honestly and he uh picked it up and has been rolling with it ever since and whenever uh we kicked thomas out we were also kicking out our bass player at the time wow and so i transitioned over to bass and i brought in mr coda trujillo mm-hmm. over here and it is uh probably been the best decision we've made as a band boy can he shred <laughs> yeah yeah and, and a looker man i mean just, just <laughs> cute as a button he is <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, when did you guys uh, throw the band e- Euphoria together? How long ago was that? Probably about two years ago. Two years two ago. Half, but four yeah. drummers in two years. That's six <laughs> months. That's your shelf life for this band. <laughs> it's been <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah, about six rough. months now. So. <laughs> that, that means I, I would be careful. Shelf, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, they're, the little sign in the Euphoria studio that says, you know, six months without an accident is... Yeah, we'll, yeah nah. <laughs> gonna be peeled down any day. We feel <laughs> Sam was almost meant to be because we were playing a show at Sky Music Lounge out in Baldwin. And, I've uh, been to Sky Music Lounge, yeah. a small space, mm-hmm. and if you like light up in there to try and put a little buzz yeah. on, everybody knows it. Everybody yeah. knows it. You know, <laughs> you think they're not, but they do. <laughs> so yes, yeah, n- nice place, Sky Lounge. Yeah. So you're out there yeah. playing. Yeah. So we played out there with our, uh, you know, now ex drummer Reed. Corner. And Dr- drummer, uh, drummer number two or drummer number three? Three. three yeah. Yeah, drummer number three. Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> trying, to, trying to keep it straight. Yeah. yeah. The one before Sam. And uh, we're walking out and we're like, hey, like, it wasn't the best gig, but we still had fun. And then he's like, you know, guys, I want to leave the band. And we had a recording session for this uh, single we just released. Well, the next yeah. week after yeah. he decided. Mm-hmm. Like that next weekend, we were going down to record it. And wow. uh, that's in Springfield. And, reach uh, audio yeah with re- reach audio <laughs> nice and uh he i was like well you're going to recording and he's like i really don't want to you know i'll go if you want but i'm not gonna have fun so we're like well what the heck man so sam was always kind of like an option as a drummer but he was has a very busy schedule so we were reluctant and then i called him on the way home from that gig and i was like hey man like what are you doing october 16th and he's like <laughs> oh like i'm actually going to be in springfield and i'm like you don't say <laughs> i'm like because we have a recording session so sam uh hopped on that track with us and ever since then he's been the drummer very nice. Mm-hmm. Well, you Very did not nice. know the song going into the recording. Did you no, get a I, chance? No, not, not really. A little bit. We we got to rehearse a little bit that week. Yeah. yeah. So I I got my part down good enough. And then uh, Kevin Gates with Reach Audio helped me sound a whole lot better. <laughs> good enough. That go. is a rock and roll attitude. That That's is. not a jazz oh, yeah. attitude, son. <laughs> 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 I'm just telling you. So there you go. Who was it, Kevin? Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. Which uh, is also a Son rapper. of Bill yeah, not Gates. The <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there you go. And he's Reach Audio, that's Springfield, Missouri? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you recorded two songs? 
Uh, three as of now, but one is released. You got one release, and that's called In Your Mom's Kitchen, which I love the name of that. <laughs> uh, in parentheses, it should have like MILF or whatever, but it doesn't. <laughs> but anyway, In Your Mom's Kitchen, that is uh, uh, the first single by Euphoria to be is found. Is that right? It's In, in Your Mom's Basement. Yeah. In Your I Mom's thought. Basement. In Your Mom's <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> I couldn't tell if you were making a joke. Yeah, I, thought <laughs> I, was <laughs> sure. I was like, is that one misprinted? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I don't read it. I can't read it. <laughs> you know, you guys all think you're so smart with your college degrees. I can read. Hey, you ain't this one. In your mom's basement. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. I was in your mom's kitchen earlier. Yeah. You know, we were cooking it up, let me tell you. Uh, anyway, in your mom's basement is the name of the song. It is available on Spotify, correct? Yes. Correct. All streaming. All streaming. All streaming. Right. All streaming things. So there you go. And you've got two more on the way. On in the, the way. In the mm-hmm. process. Now, when you went to Reach Audio... Uh, let's talk a little bit about your uh, recording process. Was it a, uh, a live recording? Was it canned? Was it closeted? Uh, track at a time? Track at a time. Yeah. yeah. Track at a time. Starting with some drums, building up. Yeah. Layering yep. on. Okay. I was just curious because different bands yeah, go right, go at course. it different ways, and you just never know uh, uh, what it is. So how yeah. was that experience well, of going through laying it down a track at a time? It's definitely exposed our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. Kevin is definitely a genius when it comes to recording. He's, I think he said he sold like four million records. You know, has a couple gold records that he's recorded, nice. and uh, he was in a band that was somewhat successful back in early two thousands and nineties. Escapes me now. There's a song that's actually going viral on TikTok now called "Trouble" by Never Shout Never, and he recorded that. So he's very credible and. Uh, yeah, we got connected to them through another band in St. Louis, The Wild and Free. And oh, yeah. uh, we opened I think up. We've had them on our, mm-hmm. uh, oh, really? our show in the past. Yeah, we opened up for Rehab, if you know right? Bartender yeah. Song. I mm-hmm. got sent there. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's how we got connected with them. And yeah, he just knows his stuff super well and really helped us write, you know, additional parts to make it the song even better. He's really the fifth member of Euphoria. Yeah. Especially with these last two songs. He really made the songs the best that they could be yeah. and especially in your mom's basement is better than any of us imagined it would be so yeah, oh in your mom's basement is awesome way better <laughs> than i imagined it would be way better a little muddy around the back door but we can talk oh. about that later <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah uh, so so uh uh kevin helped with some arrangements helped yeah. help kind of uh, round yeah. so took yeah. took the role of a, of a producer not just an engineer yeah. yes, just absolutely. absolutely press and record so there you go pretty uh, pretty sweet uh did he have you use a uh, click track yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, yeah that's it was it your first time using a click track i've used one before yeah, but yeah, it was a little yeah. bit of an adjustment. But yeah, it's it's the best right. way to keep it on time. <laughs> <laughs> Sam expressed so much concern about this click track. I will have everybody know because uh, he he was like, I, I'm a jazz drummer, you know, we don't play to clicks. Yeah. And then yeah. Sam gets in there and just kills it, two maybe three takes, and he just nails it, oh, nice. hardly any problems at all. And yeah. and Kevin thought he uh, he, he was pissing himself. Well, <laughs> he, you know, he, he probably is. Uh, used to rock and roll drummers yeah. Yeah, that absolutely. do an unsteady 2-4 <laughs> beat. <laughs> you yeah. know? And yeah. so when you when you have a machine that knows how to actually keep time, it's it's absolutely. probably the rarity for studios that aren't dealing in $100,000 productions. Right. You know? right. Many uh, a drum tracks have been re-recorded after the drummer goes home. <laughs> so congratulations, you got on the record. It didn't happen as far as I know. <laughs> As far so, as we yeah. know, either. <laughs> yeah, but anyone who is, you know, a local band making original material, I definitely recommend Kevin, you know, for anything. He's, you there you know, go. And that's down in Springfield, Missouri. Springfield, so that's, yes. yeah, not Illinois. Yeah, there, yeah, there you go. So, Worth the drive. Uh, happy to hear it. We always like to ask bands about their uh, recording process to, and find out what, what studios are kicking it and what studios aren't. And what, yeah. you know, we hear about several different uh, producers that are amazing and then you hear guys go oh it was, it was a fun fun experience you know yeah. but when, when the guys are falling over backwards talking about how good the producers Absolutely. are you know those yeah. are the yeah. guys who really dig in and do it so. and this yeah. guy's yeah. got creds right he's got yes. like, you know hit especially, songs gold records yeah. you know yeah especially for anyone who's like really wanting to make it as a musician he all, he's given us so much business advice and you know how to really make it as a band cool. not just writing and recording like right. right you know the business side of it he's very knowledgeable very credible 
There you go. And you are taking this act this Saturday, February 12th, to the oh. Road to Point Fest. Is that yeah. this Saturday? Well, we hear this. It will be. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this Saturday. Well, we, we recorded this like, weeks we ago. I was like, we need to schedule a practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we recorded this weeks ago, but when it airs, uh, it will be uh, yeah. this Saturday, we will say. February 12th, you're doing the Road to Point Fest. Where's that show at? Uh, it's at Pops in Sage, Illinois. Sauge, Illinois. Mm. Pops. Have you been to Pops? Yeah, we yes. played the... It's. You uh, played road, the first round. Yeah, there. the first yeah, round we played so. there, and this next one's going to be the final. Ha, have round. you ever just gone to Pops to see another band or, or to drink, right? So that if you didn't notice, I'm there's not. no windows in the place. No, yes. Yes. It's open yeah. 24 hours, so you can be in there for yeah, days. It used to be, at least. There are yeah. no like clocks on the wall because they don't want you to know <laughs> how many right. days have gone by. So, as youngsters, I'm going to give you a tip. The only way you can tell that time has changed is when you see an influx of strippers, you know it's 3 a.m. and the strip clubs across the parking lot just closed. <laughs> so right. if you Good see an influx know. of strippers and you keep drinking and partying and you see another one, you know a whole day has gone by. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just trying to help you kids out. I'm here to, I'm here to help. That's what I do, <laughs> Appreciate I think. It. So, and if you see one named Jade, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her I don't know where no more money now. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, now so this is a final round for Point Fest. Two, yeah. you guys have already yep. uh, knocked off one, uh, one of two bands, I guess, that advanced in uh, your uh, last yep. session. Yes, that is correct. Last mm-hmm. round. Was, who was uh, who was the other band? Fireside. Okay, oh, man, yeah. we had those guys. We know on those Joe guys. Whiteside, I believe. Matter of fact, yes. uh, uh, Fireside is uh, working at uh, Halpin Music Company, our uh, sponsor. Really? Sweet. And uh, if you guys beat them, we're gonna have to have a talk to you. Because <laughs> you know that's our sponsor. It's like it's like the drum teacher. I mean, right, you know, right. which way are you gonna go there? Yeah. Well, ask, yeah, I would suggest you don't choose Simon. the wrong side it's again, tough. Mr. Simon. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you you know what it's like to choose the wrong side. You want to find yourself in those shoes again? I've been there once or twice. So. Well, I would suggest you don't this time. <laughs> there will be a hefty price to pay, sir. <laughs> You will get more than a strongly worded memo from us. <laughs> I don't know. You know what's what going I find on. very interesting about this particular lineup for your point fest is you got misplaced religion, but Fireside and Intrusion used to be the same band. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so, so, <laughs> yeah, and they've got a little competitive, you know, thing going between them because they're both trying to prove, you know, we made the best decision. Like you guys know, sometimes you got to make decisions. Don't want to be band, on the wrong right? side. Yeah, so. See, I am intrigued. It might be the intrigue and all I took this morning, but I am very <laughs> yeah. intrigued right now. This could be a wild one, folks. Yeah, there, but that it's, could be a fist you're intrigued, fight. but we're talking intrusion. So I just intrusion. <laughs> intrusion is in, intrusion in firesides mm-hmm. uh, brawl. I, I foresee a brawl. And speaking like, of changing awesome. members, they just changed members and we'll have a new bass player that night. Really? But yeah, intriguing. I, I just seen it posted. So this go. thing's getting pretty hairy, guys. I'll give I'll give you a little insider. Okay. The bass player for the intrusion is sitting right here. Oh, yeah. okay. It's, 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 there you go. Right He's now. playing too. Now, we, now wait. See thought, how we uncover stuff. We're just I, journalists I thought, extraordinaires. Uh, I thought Jacob Pullen played bass for every band. No. <laughs> From Alton, uh, and no, not anymore. Not okay. anymore. He's got right. too so many. They, so you, yeah, so uh, Simon, Mr. Simon, you're you're uh, now in the intrusion band. That is correct. So, so what so. happens if you beat your own band? I mean, you got a 50-50 shot. Here. You're <laughs> yeah. in two of the four bands. I yeah. mean, you know, we had no idea how deep you were in this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, one way or the other. What are your other, thoughts on it, Simon? Yeah. I don't have any thoughts on it right now. Well, he's a blank slate. Look at him. There ain't a thought in his head. He's got two brain cells left alive and all of them fight each other. We're lucky he's spitting out more than syllables. <laughs> that, is, that is pretty interesting, that though, is, because, it is. Uh, this you is know, a wild one. like. You know, you might have to, have to take a beating from your band <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. There, you know, like I'm just saying, like if you guys do really good, and then you know, like intrusions getting ready to go up, I could see one of you like cutting his finger or something. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just have to have a knife on me. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying there. I, there's box the, cutter. I it know. happens. <laughs> Terrorism. Protectors in the back door. Pops. <laughs> yeah. Where we come. Sweep yeah. the leg. <laughs> you got a problem with that? <laughs> You know, I, meant, I mentioned Misplaced Religion just to make sure we gave them a plug, but I didn't mention the other two bands, A Living Hell and Shots Fired. I mean, those guys are they're out there in the dust of this thing, man. I'm yeah. just saying, you got Fireside, you got Intrusion, then you got 
you guys who are also one of the members Euphoria. of Intrusion. Yeah. This is insane. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's a battle royale. There's a point happen. in all this. They probably don't have investigative journalists like we probably. do. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very high stakes game we're playing, though. Ah, this is wow. Yeah, it's, wow. It's a weird thing because, like you say, with Fireside and the Intrusion, there's very much a dynamic there where right. they're definitely competing against each other. But yeah. as far as we go, we don't really know how competitive we are because we don't have that that little rival right, going. Right. So yeah. it's a very friendly rivalry. He, he says that, but then he's going to take him to a bowling alley between sets and shove his hand down <laughs> and the, the ball, you know, return and crush it. I'm just saying. I mean, I'll say that we're pretty confident in ourselves and, you know, our abilities. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, you know who Nancy Kerrigan is? I can't yeah, say not familiar. She, she was a skater who was getting ready to skate, and someone come up and clubbed her. And, t- oh. and I'm just saying, as you're going oh, on the yeah, stage, yeah. watch yeah. your back, bro. <laughs> watch your back. I'll, I'll have little mirrors on my on my wrist. No. Dang right. See, <laughs> Remove now. all the box go. cutters. Exactly. Right? Yeah, no, no one can even have a pen. Yeah, exactly. I was going to point out to you, Sam, uh, there's plenty of bands looking for drummers. So after all this settles, <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah, no don't yeah. You have no worries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. As long as you don't end up a little globular on your drum seat you are going to be fine sweet fine yeah so what are you doing uh, afterwards we'd like to get together with you <laughs> yeah, well, funny thing is i got four bands they all need a drummer <laughs> sam uh, is exclusive to uh, yeah. the, uh, we we noticed that like all of the older musicians that have kids train their kids to be drummers yeah. Why? Because we all need <laughs> drummers, <laughs> yeah. man. Brilliant so, idea. Yeah. It's the first instrument sense. you go for, too. I mean, you get to bang on stuff. If you got drums sitting around, kids are going to get on them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Anyways, yeah. yeah. I think we've uh, wrapped this one up. I don't think we can get any deeper. I, 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 I'm in as deep as I go, boys. We do uh, want to right, mention... So uh, I've heard that about you. <laughs> <laughs> if this band survives... Uh, hey, I'll give you a tip, and that is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> if this band survives this Road to Point Fest on February 12th, then they'll be playing on the 18th at the Duck Room, right, in yeah, St. Louis. Right. And you'll be headlining that show. Yep. Yeah, we're yes. still looking for opening bands for us. So. Oh, yeah. All right. That could be brand new bands by then. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Apparently. You just never know around yeah. here. So yeah. that is, uh, again, this are the guys from Euphoria. We got a Coda. Thanks for coming out, Mr. Coda. Uh, you haven't said a whole lot. I, I don't. I, I don't know if you're just like you know. Silent don't but like deadly. Me or, you <laughs> Silent know, but like, deadly. All kinds of hands under the table, but don't want to make eye contact. <laughs> Something tells me this reason. dude shreds. Uh, yeah, I, I get the feeling yeah. the way that they yeah. were like when when we asked him to play with us, everything came together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually Aww. the guy that you're like, all right, he knows what he's doing. Who else has a music name like Coda? <sighs> I thought it was Dakota, which is such a great stripper name. But anyway, uh, Kendrick. Not such a great stripper name, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure there's a few. I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of strippers in Pattonville named Kendrick. Well, you should hear uh, your last grandma, year. your mom. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Kendrick, uh, guitarist and vocalist, thanks for coming down this evening. No problem. Yep. Uh, Mr. Simon, uh, been, a, been a pleasure yanking your chain all night. New bass player from <laughs> our in, for Intrusion. Multiple, uh, Breaking uh, news. multiple acts now we hear, so he's you know playing a dangerous game there. And Mr. <laughs> Sam, uh, the only one who still likes Denny McFarland. Right. Thanks for yeah. coming. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, yeah. and went on to college. And went on to college. I'm giving you props, the Sam. Area. Remember that, Sam. I appreciate it. There you go. When you're looking for a band, just give me a call. All right. <laughs> so, uh, that, these are the guys from Euphoria. They are playing again uh, this Saturday night at Pops. It is the Roy, Road to Point Fest. So it is uh, the final battle royale before Point Fest. Please get out there and check it out. And if you can't make it to Pops, we ask only that you go see some live music. Please just get out and support local music and art.